Hey Binder TV, Jeff Jackson here again in Middle Tennessee showing you um, some of my collection. This is my 1973 Travel All. It's an 1110. Um, this is actually in my adult life the first international I ever bought 20 years ago. I bought this truck out of Colorado, sight unseen on eBay. Um, of course it did not look like this when I purchased it, but it's a it's been painted down to the bare metal. Um, very, very, very minimal rust just because of where it was born and where it came from. Um, a really good, solid, old truck that just hasn't really needed that much over time. Um, upgrades, of course, it has factory AC. So we did go ahead and put a, a modern uh, sand and compressor in it. Um, it's been retrofitted to R134. Um, it does have uh, front disc brakes, which it was not, did not come with front disc brakes, but I think something like that is a good safety upgrade. Uh, my dad was a travel all man. He ordered one of these brand new in 1970, and I, I drove it everywhere when I was a kid in high school. Um, my parents were belonged to an RV club called Good Sam's, too, and they had an Airstream, two Airstreams, actually. And I saw most of the Western United States as a kid through the glass of a 1970 travel all point in Airstream. Um, the dash is actually out of a 71, which that was kind of a nod to my father because he had the same dash in his 70. And I just think the classier, I think the older dashes are classier. That's probably just me. Um, the upholstery is all original 1971. Headliner was repopped. It's new. Um, the dash is completely new, or original. Um, when we were up for uh, Dixie Regionals here with Southern Scouts a few years ago, I was up against John Glancy and his nice red travel all, which ultimately won that year. And when they're asking you to pull your line set ticket because you're getting that close, you know you're close. And the judge, he's no longer with us. Um, Dr. Kent Robertson? That was, that was, yep, Dr. Kent. He asked me if I could pull the uh, seat cover, and I was like, man, I haven't had them off in 10 years. And he goes, well, let's go ahead and pull them and see what's underneath, and it's ripped. <laughs> <laughs> but I hadn't seen them. You know, it was a legit thing. Um, but, man, it's, it's, a, it's a good old truck. It's a lot of fun. It's smooth. It's quiet. And if you were like... You know, my wife in the day, this would have been what you hauled your kids around in and went to the grocery store and then pulled your Airstream on the weekends with it. It has uh, a 392, it's an automatic 727 transmission, NP205, um, and then it's got factory uh, power locks underneath it, and it's a 354 gear ratio. But it's, again, it's all international. The only thing that's not international on this motor is it has an Elderbrock carburetor on it. And of course, like I mentioned earlier, the uh, air conditioning system was retrofitted with R134. So we get, what kind of paint is that? We got a lot of metal it's flake a, in that? It's a metal flake paint job. A guy named Wayne Veazey here locally did this for me a few years ago. Um, actually in 2008, time flies. Um, it's, as, it's very, very, very close to an international color. I sort of like the gold flake and the clear. So. Don't shoot me, but it's a Chrysler paint, and I don't That's remember right. the code. But if you if you are really digging into these things, you'll see that this thing has a lot of Chrysler parts on it coming from the factory, like fuel tank senders for one. I've seen the pentagram on them. So well, uh, there, there's GM in them. There's Ford. Oh, there's everything. Yeah, and it's like a hodgepodge of all the big manufacturers of what works. Yes, yes, sir. And still works. And and I'm proud to say that. If there is ever a zombie apocalypse or some sort of weird, uh, the computers take over crisis, I can still pump the gas pedal on this thing twice and it's gonna start right up every single time. That's right. Love it. May not be able to find a gas station, yeah. but it'll still start up and drive out of here every time. All right, Jeff, thanks for showing us that. Oh yeah, hey, one more thing, can I, can I sure. add this to the zombie apocalypse Absolutely. Thing? So we had a really bad tornado go through here last March and we're pretty rural out here where we're at and the power was actually off for about a week. We had no electricity, um, which was kind of, you know, fun in a way, but it was not lost on us that 
we kept our cell phones charged off of this bus. Yeah. Or this bus. It is a bus. Off of this truck. Um, we'd come out here and recharge our cell phones because I'm like, well, if, if, if we go through this one, this has got the biggest battery. So we'll, we'll pull off this one first and then we'll go that one and that one and that one and that one and that one. But of course, the old travel all never let us down. Great story. We'll see you next time. Thanks, Finder TV.